about something because it's not on everybody's radar screen, but perhaps it should be. It's North Korea. Um, the the um, Kim Jong Un, uh, the glorious leader, as they unfortunately have to call him, uh, is purging people within his own dictatorship in his circle. He's killing people, his, uh, perhaps his uh, stepbrother, and now also people close to him. It seems like an incredibly unstable situation, and we saw the report in the Wall Street Journal that the White House has contemplated perhaps preemptive military strikes before North Korea can test an intercontinental ballistic. Should we be nervous that that will be the flare in the next few months that could lead to a really disastrous confrontation militarily? Well, I think North Korea, after Iran, is the world's most destabilizing regime, and we, we have to keep a more clear eye on what they're doing. I just had a column last week entitled, Can North Korea Launch Pearl Harbor II? And the answer is yes. And that's why I, I, I was explaining that uh, the long-range interceptors to protect Hawaii, where I was based coincidentally on 9-11, I was based in Pearl Harbor, the long-range interceptors to protect Hawaii, if you can believe it, are in Alaska and California. We need to protect Hawaii with missiles there. We actually have arranged the Pacific missile range facility on Kauai Island in Hawaii that has the test facility for an Aegis to Shore facility. We have to make that operational, just like we have operational uh, site right now in Romania and a new operational well, site coming online in Poland. Chris, Chris we, we have an obligation to protect the United States, but don't we also have an obligation to protect South Korea? And how do you protect uh, our country as well as the South Koreans from a madman with nuclear weapons? Do you, does that mean a preemptive strike of some sort? Yeah, there are situations where a preemptive strike makes sense. Against North Korea, it really doesn't make sense for two reasons. Number one, they've got a massive, massive military. It's not really susceptible to a first strike. They also have a nuclear response capability, which is something you don't want to inadvertently stumble into. It's clear that right now there's a lot of dissent within the North Korean government ranks. We've never seen quite this level of externally observable dissent within the Democratic People Republic of Korea. Uh, I think our best bet right now is to deconflict maybe stand off a bit, see if any of that okay. can work out to a better solution for us other than a preemptive strike, so, which I think would do more harm than good. So, J.D., I have to, to wrap up. We only have about 40 seconds, but the people are starving in North Korea. He, it looks as if he is losing control of the situation. Might this be the opportunity for the United States and the free world to liberate North Korea without perhaps some kind of military strike? Well, I do agree with Chris. I think that if you have a preemptive strike, uh, there could be millions of people that die in the peninsula. Seoul is in range of uh, the North Korean artillery. We have to pressure China, as President Trump has said. China really is the key to North Korea. If you pressure China enough, China can pressure North Korea so they can uh, at least be uh, brought back into okay. the fold in some way.